Hello people. How are you this morning? I'm feeling distinctly tired and a, a, a bit a bit sleepy this morning. Oh, it was really hard getting up this morning. Well, we've been live on the air on the Twitch for 14 minutes now. Can you already a little bit of Minecraft music there in the background? And I've not had this computer on for over a week. I've been away on holiday. And I think it's about time we actually sort of get into this and actually find out what's been going on on my server. Because I've not been on here for a while. <clears throat> and I had a bit of a uh, killing spree of iron golems last time I was over here. Just before we went away. Oop. There's the world loading. Oh, hear lots of noises. Ah, it looks like everyone else is still in bed here this morning as well. You lazy lot. Oh my goodness, look at them. They're all so sleepy. It's probably because the time's set quite early. Oh, what's this? Oh, spoiler. Don't want to be seeing that. That's That's for another time. Um, yeah, oh, well, it looks like the world's still here. I did stop time while I was away. Because I didn't want this going completely crazy. I didn't want to come back to like 500. Get out of bed. Come on. Dude. You should be out. It's no good, you just... Really? Oh, that's got to be a screenshot this morning, hasn't it? This is the I'm not getting out of bed screenshot from the villagers this morning. Dude, is, is that even possible? Really? <laughs> can, can you get... Can, that, he's refusing to get out of bed, isn't he? Can I get other ones to do this as well? Do you all like... No. No. I'm not kidding. Oh my god. That's even, that's even better, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Well, that's just weird. I just never seen anything like that before in my life. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, we need to move the day along a bit here. Okay. So these guys have no idea what they're doing. Time set. Let's just set it to noon. There we go. Everyone's out of bed. It's about time. Let's get this server running, shall we? Look, there's dying squid. There's cats. You are allowed to move, pretty cats. There we go. Everyone's awake. Everyone's busy. That's what we want to see. Good, 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 good. Very happy. Yep, I've been doing quite a bit of work over there. Off stream. Before you uh, all came back. Meow, meow. You want food? Um, have steak. That's about it. Don't get lost. I've got to remember Jamie. The J for Jamie. Right, okay. So, we've got this little farm going over here. And it's quite busy. We have zero iron golems over here now. Because I just did a purge on getting rid of them. They're doing my head in. There's just too many. And what I started to do was clear out this area over here. There we go. And this is all now leveled and flattened out, which I did in, I think I did on the stream just before I went away on holiday. And this area now just covered completely in cobblestone. Primarily this is going to be where our, our villages are like city. And that's my plans. 
to actually build and start getting some of the shops and stuff built in this area. This cobblestone is not going to stay like this. This is going to get made. Really? This is going to get made up and we're going to like change the floor out a little bit in places and getting it look a bit neater and tidier. We're going to do something with the chickens. Uh, I've got a load of earth over here and a bit of iron. Let's have a look, see what else I've got. Some cobble in here. I think that's why I brought this up. Some stone. That'll certainly help with the bottoms of the builds. And my choice of wood that I was going to use is going to be dark oak. I think, yeah, I have got a dark oak. I've got a dark oak tree over there. Let's go and have a look. We want to get some of those growing. I hear the dog. I hear the chickens. The cats are going to follow me around now, aren't they? More eggs. Ah, fish. Where are the cats? Cats will probably follow me in here now. Anything in these? No, I'm looking for some dark oak saplings. Where'd the cats go? They're probably upstairs. If I go down here, they should walk to me. They'll find their way down here in a minute. Right, let's have a look. We've got oak saplings. Birch. I don't have any dark oak saplings. I'm sure I went away and found some dark oak saplings somewhere. Rose bushes. Mm. No, nothing in there. Uh, that's just cobble what I've taken downstairs. No. Oh, lag. There we go. Where the pretty cats? No. I'm going to check all these because I do make a bit of a mess when tidying up. No. No. No, that's naff. Anything in these? No, no. Well, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? I'm sure I brought back a dark oak sapling. Halo, sort your eggs out. Your chickens are driving me nuts. Actually, having the cats over here might be useful because they do scare off creepers. I don't know where they're gone now. Oh, there's one. Are you still going to have a kitten now? Some, like, happy purr. I hope that pop noise wasn't a baby cat. Dog J, no, you you can stay here, and I might get Dog J to come over here. Can I get Dog J to follow me? Come on, meow. You want? Are you gonna follow me? No. You're being stubborn, right? Dark oak. That looks like a dark... Ah, there is a dark oak tree over there. I knew there was one over around here somewhere. I was fairly certain I brought back... I wouldn't have found dark oak trees and not brought back saplings. They can be a bit of a pain. Because they don't like dropping... ...stuff. Ooh, there's a moth flying around in here. I don't mean here on the server, I mean here in my house. Little muzzy fly. Right, let's cut this down and we'll see if we can get some... That's the only thing with this, is you need at least four saplings. Because what, what my plan is, is to build a variation of the 
Minecraft house. I tried this out in a creative world. Some different wood styles. There's our first one. Ooh, two already. That's excellent. So, tried this out in a creative world using the standard Minecraft houses or the new ones from 1.14. What I want to do is I want to like steampunk it up a bit. Getting some apples. Come on, I want a profit. I saw another one over there. Seven. Woohoo, that's cool. Can I get eight? Eight would give me two trees. I see another sapling up there. I think I just picked one up. Yep. That's going well. Oop, bit of laggy. And then with any luck. Yeah, so the dark oak will go, I thought, look a lot better than some of the other materials that were available. I think I got those. Right, let's just wait, see if these despawn anything. So with some, the standard house is just cobble. And what else has it got in it? It's just like a plain wood, spruce wood that they use for the tiger environment. And although this isn't a sort of a, a tiger area as such, it's, got a little bit more sort of like that steampunky look to it I think so I sort of ad I'm going to adapt the tiger style houses I mean it is possible that the people that come here the villagers that came here have come from a sort of a tiger environment so that's completely legit as to why they might be like that uh, so I'm just going to have a look at my videos. I've got a decent chunk range on there. That's good. Excellent. Cool. I'm not sure. Ah, there we go. It was worth it. I got one more. I jump. Um, come on, come on. Am I going to get any more freebie saplings? a little bit over the top trying to get the stuff I guess but we are really keen to get as many as we can no nope, that's what I'm getting nine that's right it's two trees and one for profit uh, I'm gonna have a look around here see if I've got any bone meal oh, excuse me guys excuse me coming through coming through excuse me What's that noise you were making? Some sort of paper noise. Yeah, I've been trading with a few of these guys to try and get them moving along a little bit. Uh, there's no paper in there. Uh, bones, that's what I want. Do, do, do. There's a cat in there. That'll keep the creepers out of the house. It's a very busy little community. Do I have another chest over here? I didn't, did I? No, it was a fisherman looking after his barrel. Yep. Some of these guys weren't very impressed with me. They got really upset. Oh, the trade seem to be better now. Is it because I've been gone so long? You're thinking, oh, I better come back. I better be nice to him. It's because I was killing all the... Uh, there's two of you. Bookshelves, what do you sell? Bookshelves. You both sell exactly the same thing. Well, that's not very good, is it? I suppose it is the same sort of trade. What do you sell? Oh, yeah, you're the Fletcher. You, a stone pickaxe for an emerald. You're having a laugh. What, what about you? What do you got? Bread. Fine. You. Uh, oh, you're the carrot and potato beetroot person aren't you have you actually grown any more carrots dude because you know you, we really need to sort your trading up 
Rude. Right, they're all busy over there doing their thing. It seems to be quite good leaving the time set to 12 o'clock midday, noon, because they're all busy doing their little thing. That would make it look quite active. Right, so I'm going to grow these over here. I'm just going to pop up here first, make sure there's no actual... Are there any creepers in sight? No, nope, I think we're good. Right, so let's just clear out a little bit of this. Don't want any more distractions from the plants trying to, the trees trying to grow than I have to. Very much. I think there is better. And there. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. There's my spare one. Got an apple. Uh, right, let's bone meal these up. Because what we want to do is get some resources to start with. And then we can actually start working on... It's actually a decent sized tree. Because we're actually going to want logs for the roofs wood and I'm going to want lots of stone and cobble different materials I'm going to want some spruce as well oops look pretty cat Where's my cat gone? There's dog, dog Jake, what are you doing? Why are you stuck? Can you not move? I was hoping to get one of them come over here, then I'm not going to get, like... You weren't meant to eat the fish. He doesn't love you. Oh, that's sad. Okay. We go back to chopping trees. Thank you very much. Uh, this stuff should despawn in a minute. Right, so we're just going to concentrate on getting resources collected. my holiday was away in Wales and looking at the countryside that was really nice scenery it's just nice to sort of get away and get the fresh air and look at the rivers and and some of the rock formations as well it was pretty cool that sort of gave me some inspiration as to how to build what I could build in this world because I was I haven't got any on me at the moment but I was looking at some of the oh it's the cat walking around it scared the life out of me I thought that was a creeper don't do that you scare people right we're back to nine uh, come on so I wonder if I should make a little cobblestone burning furnace over here. Because uh, I've got quite a bit of cobble and I want to like, what's this? This is all gravel, that's stone. I've got a fair bit of stone. It's not actually too bad actually. I thought I was going to need more than that. That's all right. Um, gravel, stone, and a site. That's not bad supply of materials. I'll probably get for it quite a bit once I get going. Sticks. Really? Sticks? Don't want sticks. 
There we go. Slight profit in the tree department. Lots more than now. This is a bit like Pixel Rift's uh, tree planting day. I am sort of hoping that they're going to give villagers more jobs. At some point. Because I think that would be pretty cool. We can get like lumberjacks and stuff. Especially if we could tell them what trees to cut down. That'd be pretty cool. Come on. Hello, pretty cat. Right. Sit. Where's Dog J? Dog J's not moving around for some reason. So you can stay there. Well, at least if I know you're sitting there, there's no creepers going to come up on me, don't I? That's one advantage. It's, it's Monday morning and I'm half asleep. And it's going to be a bit of a killer. First few days, getting up early again. Stick it out. I want to get this built. I've got some really good ideas of what's going to get built. I'm enthusiastic for it. Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, the lag's bad this morning. Actually, if I move that into there like that, I can actually see how much getting in the way of saplings back. Go. I like the idea that cats scare off the creepers. Yeah, that's a really useful uh, thing to have. that way no no creepers are going to come up on me while you're sat there are they we could actually do that we could put you guys all around the village get you bred up yep loads of little pretty cats i think the dogs attack skeletons and zombies and stuff so that's not bad i don't know whether they'll attack creepers I think they go after llamas. Oh no, llamas chase dogs away, don't they? Could certainly do it in a way that the the villagers have worked out that having cats and dogs around is is good. Right, come on, we've got to get better profit than this on the trees. Plenty of sticks. Are you eating the saplings? Pretty cat. No. Ah, here we go. I think I got up to 12. I seem to be down one. That's not good, is it? My little feline friend. Almost got enough for another tree. Is that another cat? There there is. There's another variation of cat over there. So we'll just have a zoom. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless. Little pretty cat. Right. Trees. 
see a horse off in the distance over there as well. Go. Do, 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 do. I did think about having some music in streams, but I don't know. I've not really looked into the rules on Twitch as to what you can and can't play. The thing is, I want to be able to use these recordings to upload them onto YouTube. And YouTube doesn't allow music uploads. Got to be like a bit more careful with them. As to what actually goes online. The other thing I'm doing as well is I'm using Fabric to use the recording mod. And my idea there is is that I could literally time lapse this stuff that I'm doing here this morning. I've set my game up so that it actually saves any other collect these uh, saves any of the recordings the game save place so that we actually get those and we can sort of like re-render them different views so that's something I could definitely do while I'm derping around here with these tricks Obviously, doesn't want to drop, does it? Glitching. Where? Certainly, I think we should be up to three trees now. It's so never very easy walking straight up. I'm sure the controls sort of get flipped a bit. Certainly how it feels anyway. Yeah, sometimes the the item looks like it's on the ground, but it's not it's still actually on the leaf above. Which is a very weird glitch. I assume there's a uh, there's something in the I don't know what I'm talking about this morning. My brain's just really slow. down a hole. Right, we've got 18 now. That's one. Two. I'm doing very well on the tree profit here. Uh, let's build another one up here. Make sure the sky is clear. inhibits their growing. Oh, we're going to get loads of wood now. If I hadn't run out of bone mill. Well, you never know. They might grow while I'm walking around doing this. Always a chance. Hello, pretty. Guarding me from the nasty creepers. I don't think there's any around actually. I think I'm safe. Just some decent sized trees for once. That was for not glitching. I don't want my server struggling this morning. I don't know if it's my network connection or.
whether it's just uh, the server struggling today for some reason. Don't know. I've got quite a lot of um, chunks loaded. I like the visual view. It can also be quite good because the recording means it gets all those chunks in as well. So I can like record from a distance or do a replay from quite a large distance. I don't know whether the mobs get loaded, how far away they get seen. So at the moment the villagers are over there, but I don't know whether they're actually like loaded. Whether the game actually renders them. I don't think you can get... I'm just thinking the... Compost is a good source of getting bone meal. Or a good way of getting... Ah, there we go, got another tree. Good way of getting bone meal. We cut that one down. Not really got a lot of resources here that would actually be good for doing that with, though. so many game mechanics that could be added I mean if you added like bone meal into the soil you could make it like fertilized land you could like increase the speed at tick rate at which crops could grow I didn't actually think that's what the composter was going to be for, but I suppose you do get bone meal from it. I mean, if you had a, a farmer, make the food grow faster. Could be a thing. Come on, pick it up. It's here, I can see it. Don't come back. Need to keep walking around making sure I pick up the ones that do drop. Up there on a leaf somewhere. I can see you right here. playing glitchy, glitchy games with me. That's cheating. I do find my mouth gets very dry first thing in the morning when I'm streaming. I threw that bit too close to this tree, didn't I? That could stop my uh, leaves despawning. It's going to be a bit of an inefficiency. Um, if I do them over, that one over here, and I do another one over here, that. Try not to walk through the trees just as they're about to spawn. That would be risk. Yeah, that one's a really good place to grow. Let's look at the sky to see if there was a bit of spare the sky there. I thought that would clear that. Put the seeds up. Oh, I nearly got full load of wood here. That actually fell out of the sky yet? No. no. Right, the little tree. No. Oh, did I? Oh, I 
That's unusual, isn't it? See leaves below the blocks normally, not in a dark oak tree. Imagine this is I mean, obviously dark oak trees don't grow this fast in real life. But you can certainly imagine that anyone wanting to like settle somewhere, this would be like a, a bit of a priority to actually get some good quality crops growing, get the trees growing in the area. And I mainly knock out the the grass around the ground. You're probably wondering why I do that. The trees grow perfectly fine with it there. And it does help a little bit. I think sometimes we're checking the area, there's nothing there. there's then no block there at all rather than going ah oh, there is a block and what block is it oh it's grass that's okay that doesn't matter but the main reason for me doing it is that I find that it means I can actually see where the grass Clear where I'm building trees, and when the saplings fall, I can actually see them on the ground. They don't get buried in amongst all these. And they go, Where are they? I can't see them. What the f this hasn't got. Oh, my axe is wearing out. Mending books would be really good at some point. Just using iron on this in a minute, I think actually. Right, repair it up a bit. I think the trick is to wear it down as low as possible. So every time you repair, there's a cost associated with it. And that only gets updated when you do the repair. So the more iron you can put on it, the more use you should get out of the axe between repairs. Should be how it works anyway. Mm, got a real lack of bone meal here at the moment. Um, let's have a look downstairs in the store. I think I went down there. I don't think there was any over there. There's my skeleton farm. Could do that. Could go over there uh, quickly and see what we can get. Let's do that. Cat's now trying to outrun me. I put these here. Mm. Get mob head drops. Thought that'd be cool. Alright, where's the entrance? Down here somewhere. There we go. Let's go down here. Get some more bone meal from our little farm. Get some of that. I've got some gold in here. Hmm. Ooh, we've got some emeralds and stuff. Oh yeah, they're going to be really useful to have later on. 
because we're going to have some gem villagers come into the game. Where have I gone? I've just gone down the wrong tunnel. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? It has been a few weeks. <laughs> Forgot my way around. Yep, I can hear the spawn running in there. Some more bone there. Uh, look there, what have we got in here? Ah, look at that. Loads and loads and loads of bone. That's awesome. Do I need any of this? No. Do I need any of this? There's plenty of cobblestone. What's that? That's jungle. Jungle, jungle, iron. Nope. Don't want any of that. Yep, the skeletons are going to drop, but I'm not worried about them. I want to get on with getting trees. Which is obviously very exciting. But for me, it's exciting. Up through the scaffolding. What would we do without scaffolding now? I was hesitant to start with, with scaffolding. I didn't know quite what to think of it. But, um... Yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. Whee! That's quite good stuff. Really useful. There's that cat again. We have to do some, like, fishing and... Look, if you ran in a different direction to me, you'd be fine. Can't help it, I'm going this way. I don't know which is the jelly cat. I need to look that up. The jelly cat, for anyone listening, is the cat that was designed in from Minecraft player Good Times with Scar. His cat was brought into the game. Skin for his cat. Really nice thing to do. I think it's great when they build little things like that into the game. Still hear Halo's dog down there barking occasionally. Right. Tomorrow's task will be actually mapping out where the buildings are going to go. Or well, the first few anyway. I want it to sort of grow organically. And I want to sort of like think about how would the villagers naturally adapt this area. So for example, they're very much like, oh, we've got some jungle trees growing, we've got some oak trees growing. There's birch and oak trees around in the area. Now, what else would we do? Probably get some spruce trees growing, and they know that they're going to be using this as building materials. So they're using stone from the mine. I sort of, although we've brought in these materials, part of the story of this area is is that these villagers have travelled. From a different place and they're bringing in these materials with them materials they know and that they work with try and sort of build their new their new place not a bad looking horse I think there's a couple over there yeah there's another one up there that cat can't really see because the the mobs don't render that far out into the distance. Just about to see the smoke from the house. It's a shame the village you can't see the villagers over there. It put a lot more lag on the server. Enabling that all the time. More than I think it could actually cope with at the moment. Right, so it's clear these branches out certainly 
we're getting a good healthy supply of saplings now Finally, I'm getting enough to replace these trees. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right, where's our bone mill? Get these grown. Come around and cut them all down. Should actually uh, try and repair my tools. Go. Do let's get rid of these bones out of my inventory, the ones I don't need. That's a fair bit of wood we collected. Um well I've got one iron nugget there. I think that's gonna need one more more than one iron nugget. It's a really inefficient way of doing that, but that'll do for now. I'll actually just go and do it properly. collecting these eggs for Halo. I hope she's gonna like make a massive cake or something out of them. I think that must be a hidden plan. Hello. Right. Tree chopping time. Time lapse, I should be able to do that. For these videos. <coughs> what was going to fall down that hole there? I thought that was going to be a right rookie mistake. What's crossfield falls down the only hole there is. Better than walking into trees. Don't know if it's me, but these trees seem a different shape than they used to be before. I begin to think the wood, like the trunks, growing a different way. I always thought these were like very straight. Got varying heights of them. You get tall ones and short ones, but I've seen it where the trunk sort of goes over to the side like this, or getting leaves above, uh, leaves below the logs. Maybe it's just me. What we could do with all the sticks? I suppose we could make fences, couldn't we? That would be 
be a thing. So I stream every day. F oh, I'm going to be streaming every day from seven until eight o'clock each morning working on this build. Hopefully by the end of this week we should get some nice buildings in place. I uh, might even get the village, some of the villagers moved over. That'd be quite good. They can then start doing their trading stuff. We have to do some daytime cycles then for them. So that they can update their positions that are their points of interest they keep a memory of where buildings are and stuff for them right so I'm gonna get these trees to despawn their leaves on one more set of bits and then get myself ready for work I guess go that's got the trees down all right what have we got in the way of leaves despawning over here we've got 19 saplings that's pretty good get yeah hello pretty cat we'll, when we find more name tags we will name you all at this rate we're gonna have dog a dog b Maybe that's the thing I should actually do then. I could name each each of you after somebody. Where the uh, the letter is their initial. Like one of my followers or subscribers. if I can plant a few extra trees that'd be good because they'll all have grown by the time we clock back in tomorrow not the most productive tree farm anyone's ever seen I guess this but it's doing what's needed this is what you need to do in the game The grind is real. We don't do the grind. We don't get the trees to build with. Right. Let's see how many trees we can find. Two. go. So from that one tree and four saplings we now have eight trees on the go. Some of my spare resources in here. Have a look at how much wood we've actually collected. 
that's quite good. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 stacks. 600, 700, nearly 800, somewhere in the region, 800 stacks of wood. It's not stacks of wood, is it? 800 um, logs. Which is quite a lot. I think that's more than enough for what I need. These ones can just grow in the background. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start coming in and laying the cobble foundation down for where the first buildings are going to go. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that cutting trees isn't the most exciting stream in the world, but it's got to be done, and tomorrow we'll be on to the next thing. Uh, if you've managed to follow and hang on this long, please uh, consider hitting the follow button or hopping over to my YouTube channel and watching stuff there. And these streams will be put up live over there as well. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.